Welcome in everybody to week one of the Vanderbilt rebuild and now there's a lot of stuff to cover moving forward The roster has changed a little bit. Let's take a look at the team starting off with the quarterback chase lap again Shout out to everybody in the discord uh, for leaving their suggestions for names and teams appreciate you guys chase lap senior quarterback Very smart smart cookie 3.0 GPA. So hopefully he can maintain that as we have the running back WC Quinn sounds like a like an author that writes fan fictions hopefully gonna be a beast for us he's a freshman running back with maxed out potential speed and he's got decent hands he just has no stamina he just gets gassed on like the first half and then he's, he just sits out then we have roland moss the nephew of the great randy moss roland moss is the freshman wide receiver who is going to be an absolute tank for us he, he's he's a good larping he loves it he loves a good larp and then dante deach now dante deach was a five-star prospect at one point his freshman year he got into a terrible skydiving accident and here he is now a little bit uh, you know what of, of what his previous self was it is what it is dante deach hopefully going to be a good weapon for us sophomore now and then we've got the general general booty out of quincy massachusetts great strength potential and stamina just very slow it kind of is what it is zion mcgee the linebacker he's probably not going to reach, reach his potential hopefully he sticks around for his last year and he just can't wrap up where the shit the kind of thing you need to do as a linebacker you can't do it all then we got robert trufant the freshman db with a very high potential for speed and then easton goldman the cousin of great texans cornerback weston goldman is our junior defensive back and of course nolan tanner the kicker with a fucking leg on him he's got the potential for maxed out range so taking on mississippi valley state in the first game now i see and i don't want to look too far ahead but obviously smu at number week number two, but LSU in week number three. Let's take a quick look at the top 10 rankings. They also highlighted the top four teams because those will be the teams that potentially make it in the bowl. And you're going to see the usual suspects again, you know, Michigan, Alabama, LSU, Ohio State in the top four. So LSU is currently ranked number three, star ratings for offense and defense for all the teams. This is crazy. You can look at it throughout the entire league. Time to take on Mississippi Valley State. And again, updated their uniforms. You can see I got the red helmets, uh, red pants, uh, I went through, got all the hex colors. You're going to notice that for every single matchup, I did the same for uh, SMU. I haven't got all the jerseys done. I know you guys are asking about that video. It will come within, I want to say, but for sure within the next two weeks, probably within the next week and a half, as they are a one-star offense and a one-and-a-half star defense. Now we are a one-and-a-half star defense and a two-star offense. So hopefully we can take care of them, take care of business. I'm going to be playing on three-minute quarters on hard, and I've decided because I usually play on extreme and I want the games to be difficult, but also I want the I want the stats to actually matter. If you play on extreme, then you're gonna play Mississippi Valley State and they're gonna be a five-star offensive defense. I don't I wanna be able to beat up on some bad teams, I'm gonna be honest with you. So a team that's in the fucking you know FCS, we should be able to win. Uh, but for instance, against LSU, I'm going to be making every single ranked team on extreme. I don't care if they're a three-star offense and defense. I don't care if it's 25th Jacksonville State. And if you guys don't like that, let me know. I and mean, maybe if it's if they have a four-star offense or defense, they're getting bumped up to extreme. Something like that. I want the good teams to be crazy. And even a five-star offense and defense on hard, the disparity is not that big. I want these teams to be feeling like crazy. Maybe top 10 teams on extreme. You guys let me know in the comments what you want to see to make this more interesting. I need a bit of a challenge. Not to say I'm going to win every game on hard either, because you got to focus up if you're going to win. If you're really going to win any game, as we'll hop into this matchup. But one last thing. I can make kick returners now, finally. So I'm going to make Roland Moss the kick returner, and I'm also going to meet with him and give him a quick boost, because when you're on level one, it's only four points. It's very much worth it. I'm going to boost his speed. So there we go. All right, Tanner kicking it off. Mississippi Valley State driving down the field in the rain. Can our defense make a stop? General Booty sacks him, and we force a field goal at the goal line. So General Booty coming up big, going to kick it out to Roland Moss, who finds the edge. Tight ropes it for a gain of nine, now second and inches. Quinn gonna get the first handoff of the game and get stuffed by the cornerback. We don't have a tight end, which is something I, I debated getting as there's a bullet pass to Dante Deach to the 50 yard line. Tight ends, you guys know, they're just, they're insane. They, the mismatches alone are always pretty, pretty cracked as Chase Lapp gonna scramble down for a gain of six past the midfield mark. As the running back wide open, Cannot make the catch. I'm kicking it out to the no-name tight end on third and six. Getting down close to the line again. Just a little QB sneak. 
and knock it in for the first down. That comeback's going to be nasty. If we have enough time in the pocket, Roland Moss comes back inside for the 12-yard gain now. We got to keep the momentum going, keep the drive moving. Linebacker's playing over the middle of the field. I'm trying to get a bullet pass there. Dante Deitch finds the end zone. Very similar to his freshman season. You guys hear that? Oh, yeah. Guys, we're going for two in this rainy, windy matchup. Going to have to get a little bit of an advantage here. Trufant missing the tackle. They go for two and score. So now they're still up by three as it's 11-8. And Roland Moss going to get his first attempt to return a kick. He's outrunning the blockers who are supposed to be leading the way ahead of him. Nice return down to the 32-yard line. We got one-on-one -on -one with Dante Deitch. I'm going to try to get that over the top. We do in the hurdle. Look at him. He's off to the races. Is anyone going to catch him? 35-yard gain. Dante Deitch again on this streak. The cornerback is not able to hang. He gets a hurdle. He's taunting his way into the end zone. Why Why you do that to him? I mean, it's fucking Mississippi Valley State. Quick bullet pass. And, of course, I miss the bullet pass now. 14 to 11. Dante Deitch on these streaks just keeps getting open. Unless that's underthrown, it's not. Chase Lap puts it right over the top. I mean, these are risky passes. On extreme, you do not get away with a pass like that. But I'm, I'm happy that we're... Not playing on that, at least against Mississippi Valley State again. Like I said, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see for a... I thought he was running a streak. He was not. Please make the tackle. Come on, do not let up a pick six. Quinn, make the tackle, please. I'm begging you. Come on, catch up to him. It's a fucking pick six. Of course it is. I thought he was doing a, a, a streak because he's been running streaks all day. In breaking route. Oh my god, it's bobbling. Oh my god, the no-name tight end made the catch. 42 seconds left. Got Roland Moss on a streak. Over the top. Makes the swipe. Make a man miss. You can't make a man miss. Okay, calling a timeout. Take a shot to Dante Deitch, maybe. Oh, that might be a late pass. He makes the catch. And he scores the touchdown. His second touchdown of the game. Maybe even his third in the first half. I don't know, but he is, he's been a beast so far. If our defense can make any stops, that'd be great. I gotta also not throw pick sixes, though, however, because... That's, that's on me, not gonna lie. Roland Moss. Oh my god, he fucking ran past the cornerback. Please don't, don't let it happen again. Make the tackle, I'm begging you. Don't. It's not gonna show replay either. Okay, what I was hoping was Roland Moss on that post route, I wanna get the ball to him underneath, let him make a play. But he crossed the cornerback. The cornerback shifted his leverage because he had safety help over the top. And here we are. I'm pressing for no reason. We were down by three. We really didn't need to force that pass. And I didn't think it was going to be that bad. As W.C. Quinn gets a huge run down to the midfield mark. Mm, nothing really getting open. The running back maybe. Oh my god. Chase Lap is slower than shit. Going to keep handing the ball off. Trying to, trying to break a big one. There we go. Nice hurdle by Quinn. 13-yard gain. This in-breaking route could get open. It does. Roland Moss getting himself involved in the end zone now. All right, down by two points. Can we can we hold them, please? Short of the first down, holding them to a punt. Thank God, our defense needed to bail us out. Going to do a quick screen of Roland Moss. Get the ball in the playmaker's hands. Let him make plays after the catch. Dante Deitch, run a nice route. He does. He drops the fucking ball. Make it to the no-name tight end. Let's go! Big catch. I debated running up the gut because I was afraid he wouldn't be able to catch it. But he did. He hauls it in. I'm throwing it. Wide open is Roland Moss, who gets involved again. Now matching Dante Deitch's touchdowns. Can we make another one? Booty missed the tackle. Am I going to have to drive down the field? They missed the, they missed the extra point. And now we don't have to. Oh my god, big run. Big run by W.C. Quinn. 16-yard run. Nice pass to Dante Deitch. Oh, look at the shifty moves. He's tight roping the sideline. 21-yard gain. Oh, they're baiting me into throwing that pick. You see him... He's trying to bait me on the hitch route. I'm scrambling past his dead body. Now 25 seconds left in the game. Going to hand the ball off to Quinn, who gets a hurdle. Trying to find the edge. Gets out of bounds. Up top to Roland Moss. Fighting for it. It's incomplete. Now third and goal. Calling audible at the line. Roland Moss on the screen pass. He drops the ball. The kick is up. And the kick is good. I know it's a 17-yard field goal, but geez, it's not, it's not easy. Game over. We escaped the grasp of Mississippi Valley State. Passed for a lot of yards in that matchup. Ran for a lot of yards in that matchup. Dante Deitch had a great game. Fans clearly want him to do well. Absolutely. We are going to praise the fans as a whole, however. We need to get these fans up. A lot of XP. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stats overall. 28 for 38. Five touchdowns, two picks. Slinging the ball around, not going to lie. 11 for 69 from WC Quinn. Roland Moss, 11 for 121 and 2. 11 for 162 and 3 for Dante Deitch. General Booty had himself a sack. Let's go ahead and take a quick gander, though, at the rankings. Did anybody lose that you'd expect? LSU, 
is fifth. They dropped out of the top four. It doesn't appear that they lost, though, as Oregon State still top 10. They didn't even play a game. They didn't play a game in week one. How is that even possible? I don't even know. No one really dropped too far down. I guess Jacksonville State fell from 19 to 47. Showed they were not really about that. USC takes a loss in their opening week down to 50th overall. Not too shabby. 67th overall. Raised up about 15 spots. Taking on SMU now in week two. 